This is how to subtract using the method called decomposition, which is probably the most efficient written method for subtraction for most calculations, but not all. Here's what you do. 346, we're taking away 58, so I line up the digits in the correct columns. and I draw parallel lines for my answer. I do the least significant digit first, in which case it's the units, so 6, take away 8. can't actually do that, so I have to go to the tens column, and I take one of the tens, leaving me with three tens here, and I turn that into 10 units. Notice the language of tens and units is really important. This is not a three, it's three tens, it's in the tens column. I now have 16 here, so 16 take away 8, I can do 8. Now I subtract the tens. 3 tens take away 5 tens, I can't do that, but I do have 3 hundreds. So I take one of the hundreds, leaving me with 200, and exchange that for 10 tens, which gives me 13 tens in this column, in other words 130. 13 tens take away 5 tens with 8 tens. And finally, 200 to take away nothing is 200. And the answer is 288. Common mistakes children will make is if they're faced with 6 take away 8, they'll reverse the calculation and do 8 take away 6, which of course you're not allowed to do and you need to make sure that you're talking in terms of units, tens and hundreds all the time so the children understand the place value. But that is how you subtract using decomposition.